By understanding what tiger sharks are eating, I want to build a bigger picture of what they see as prey and whether that includes us. All the baits are out. Um, at the moment, they look untouched. Uh, you've got a, a red boy and uh, also the smaller white boy. What we're waiting for is uh, the white boy to disappear, but all quiet at the moment. Then we get a sign that we're not alone. That's doing something, isn't it, Adam? What do you reckon? Oh, yep, yeah, there it goes, it's going under. Tiger run, tiger run! As we approach the buoy, I can see an ominous shape beneath the surface. This is a big. This is tiger shark, and this is a big one. Still got a big kick in it. The shark has a lot of energy left, and I struggle to keep control of it. It's 10 foot plus. We're talking 650, 700 pounds. This is a big animal. This is what's in these waters. So turn it over. The problem we've got at the moment is uh, Adam's taken a, a bit of tissue. Uh, that involves some rather delicate surgery with a very sharp scalpel. And you've got an animal that could start crashing at any moment. So Adam's taking a blood sample from it now. From these samples, Adam will get a better understanding of what the shark eats. It's rolling, it's rolling. The shark is winding itself around the leader wire, right. dragging our side of the boat down. Then it sinks its teeth into our air-filled boat. Well, the shark has punctured the boat. It's also wrapped in the leader. With the boat taking in water, we need to unwrap the shark from the leader and fast. It's got to come over, that's it. Let's just get it off and get the boat back. OK, right, we've decided we're going to abandon any attempt to get any uh, data from this. We've got the boat going down. We cut the leader and release the shark. Uh, we have a hole in the boat, and uh, the air has come out and water is going in. We need to get back to the mothership, which is uh, becoming increasingly distant, so priority is us getting out of here. We limp back to the mothership. I still can't get over the sight of such a huge predator so close. Now, more than ever, I wonder if we humans are on the shark's menu.